is Shaw, an alien queen in Covenant. Many people recently have speculated this to be the case, either by David mutating her with use of the black goo, or using her reproductive organs in some way, say, to make alien eggs. It has been thrown around a lot recently, and especially more so when we catch a glimpse of what has been said to be sure in the Alien Covenant Take Me Home TV spot. A common argument being used is that she was in fact infected by the black goo. If we remember back to Prometheus, we know that Holloway was infected at the time of sexual intercourse, and that was how Shaw, otherwise unable to bear children, had an alien fetus in her. We can assume from the way the black goo works that actually she was not infected, upon contact alone anyway. Holloway had come into contact with numerous crew and none showed signs of accelerated mutation. The argument that Holloway's sperm was infected, the sure is, can be disproved through what we have seen once an organism is mutated through the black goo. The hammerpedes that Milburn interacted with were heavily affected by the accelerant. They quite literally swam in it. Milburn then came into contact with the hammerpedes and was in fact suffocated by one lodging itself down his throat. If one can become infected by the black goo through contact of an affected organism, Milburn surely would have been. His corpse, however, showed no sign of this. The accelerant itself is just that, a genetic accelerant of sorts. It isn't bacterial, it isn't viral, it appears to mutate genetics. So Holloway's sperm, though affected, would not have had any impact on Shaw's genetics. Discounting that as the reason for Shaw becoming an alien queen, the other most common theory is that David has in fact infected her, in some way altered her, used her and ultimately changed her by use of the accelerant liquid. David appears throughout Prometheus to have a fondness for Shaw. We know from recent interviews with Fassbender that David's emotional and human traits appear to be coming through more and more, and the emotional aspects of the David 8 model is in fact the reason why Walter was created as a much more robotic synthetic. To that end, I don't personally believe that David intended Shaw any direct harm throughout the events of Prometheus. Even in the end, he warned her that the last engineer was coming for her. One could say it was self-preservation that led him to do that, but I would like to say it was the fondness he displayed for her. The only way I believe David could be the cause of creating an alien queen from Shaw is either if Shaw is dead and David harvested her sexual organs for experimentation with accelerants. I don't, however, think this is likely. Or Shaw became sick or unwell, and in an effort to treat her, he may have attempted to infect her with some altered form of the accelerant. We have seen this similarly play out in the Prometheus Fire and Stone comic run. One of the crew has cancer and he believes through the accelerant he can have his cure. Maybe David thought the same, or along the same lines. However, having said all of that, do I believe there will be a queen alien of some kind in the new movie? No, I actually don't. I understand why a lot of people believe there will be one. There are eggs, so there must be something that laid them. The subterranean level, however, where the eggs are, does not look big enough to house a full-grown queen, and the eggs genuinely, to me, look to have been crafted. I firmly believe the eggs are made. It's the age-old question, though, of what came first, the alien or the egg. Another reason why people believe this is that David is said to state to Captain Orem prior to the facehugger latching on, they are quite safe. They are waiting for mother. Now, I don't believe this to be a reference to a queen, which many people do, but I believe it merely to be a reference to a host. I do think it's a possibility, though, that David has potentially been experimenting in some form to create these eggs. So perhaps in some roundabout way, Shaw is the queen of these particular facehuggers, just not the horrifying mutated queen everyone seems to be expecting to see. I could be entirely wrong, and I really would love to hear your thoughts on this. I understand and appreciate that this is just my opinion, built off reasoning and evidence, but it is merely my opinion, and I'd love to hear yours. So please drop them down in the comments section. Do you think Shaw will appear as a queen? If so, how do you feel she has ended up with this fate? 
As always guys, I can't thank you enough for watching. If you did enjoy this video, then please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more in the future. If you think this video is worth it and you want to support the channel, then please head on over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description box along with all my social medias. I've been Mr H and until next time, I'll catch you in the comments section.